week. We are currently getting our travel preparations ready and we want to share with you guys exactly what equipment we are going to be bringing with us. We are shifting into a full-time career in travel content creation and this is all the electronics and equipment that is the right stuff to bring. Now it's important to let you guys know that our two main focuses are Instagram and YouTube. So we need equipment for both videography as well as photography to give you guys a quick overview of everything that we are bringing. We are bringing with us three different cameras, two different tripods, a gimbal, and then an arm. The most important item that we're bringing, which is our brand new baby, the Nikon Z6. <laughs> we put a ton of research into figuring out which kind of camera that we wanted, and this one, when we went to the store and tested it out, it was everything that we loved. It actually included a pro lens with it, so this one is the 24 to 70. Not only does it do um, amazing photography, amazing night photography, it also does videos really, really well. Actually, all three of the cameras that we have brought with us um, have the ability to do photography and videography. They're all capable of supporting and backing each other up as needed, and you never know what's gonna happen when you're traveling. We couldn't be happier with this camera. Like, I guess only time will tell, but so far we are in love with the photos that it creates. So the next camera we have is the Sony ZV-1 and we're not going to show you guys because it is the one that we're recording on right now so we'll post a little photo so you can see. We have been very impressed with this camera. So the thing that really stood out to me with this camera is because we are beginners, it has a really great autofocus. So if you're just walking around vlogging, it's not something that you're gonna have to keep adjusting. Not only that, but it is really, really small. It's really lightweight. So if you're holding it all day, your arm's not gonna hurt. We've been extremely happy. I think the quality is great. And so it really just meets all of the needs that we have. And I think that's why it's just the perfect product for our travel content creation. Mm -hmm. Before we move on to the third camera, uh, I think we should get into some of the major things that we brought with us. The first one is the Joby, which works as a tripod. Um, it also hooks on to things. Yeah, we were a little iffy about this, but it has been awesome already. You can hang it on like a tree. We plan on doing a bunch of outdoor stuff so you can stabilize it on uneven environments. Yeah, and it can hook onto your bag itself. It has a level on it. I mean, it's just really durable and it was a little pricey, but so far so good. Yeah, so worth it. We're also bringing another tripod and this one is just one that we got off of Amazon Basics. It was really cheap, but we figured that this one would be great for us to be able to take photos together. Um, and we're not super committed to it, so if we feel like we don't want it, we're just gonna you know, drop it wherever. A lot of the things we read online was, do not get a tripod that you plan on keeping <laughs> because you're just gonna lose all of them. So um, we kept that in mind. I think this thing was $20. Okay, and then next we are also bringing a stabilizer. And this is, I'm gonna, I'm just gonna butcher how you say this. Z Zivion, Zivion. Yeah. <laughs> we'll have them everything linked below so you guys can actually um, see what they are. But this one is just a stabilizer so when we're walking around or if we're actually trying to get some um, very cinematic, cinematic shots, shots yeah. we will be using this. The next few items are pretty obvious, but if you're a first time travel content creator, or even if you're just a first time content creator, this is uh, some good things to keep in mind. You're always gonna wanna have extra backup chargers. You're also gonna need backup hard drives. We first got the Seagate one, it works awesome and it was quite a bit cheaper, but this Lacey one does make me feel a lot more comfortable because yeah. I know how this wet it's all, This one has been really highly rated and it does, it's like hard to break because it does have a protective little barrier on it's it. It's like sandproof, waterproof, all these things. You guys could look it up. And then lastly, of course, you will have a bunch of memory cards. We have like eight here. Um, and we did buy name brand ones because you just want to make sure that none of the files end up getting lost. Yeah, and I don't know if you guys realize this, but you may struggle to find authentic brand memory cards overseas. We ran into this when we were in Cyprus yeah. <laughs> and it did not work. We did lose information, so it's really not worth it to risk it. Yeah, we have <laughs> learned from experience on that one. <laughs> And I'm sure you guys know, but uh, you need uh, backup battery chargers for the same reason. You're gonna be charging a lot of things at once and you wanna bring a lot of batteries with you for that day. You never wanna miss a perfect you know, moment or Yeah, we've sunset. learned that batteries do die a lot faster than you would imagine. So having um, an item where you can charge more than one battery is really important. Our third camera, our <laughs> third camera is the GoPro Hero 8. We probably should have waited for the 9, but this guy's been working pretty great. <laughs> um, we have loved the GoPro. Obviously, it was something that we wanted to bring with us because we do a lot of outdoor activities. So we're going to be in the ocean and swimming, and we thought it'd be so cool to be able to get some underwater videos and photos. Yeah, we're very adventurous, but even if we weren't, this is your basic starter kit for like, content creation. It's just a really fun toy. Like, a lot of good <laughs> content creators have really just started from a GoPro, so if you are only looking to bring one camera, this could potentially be it. Right, so accessories. So for the GoPro, we have the waterproof case, 
And then we do have some lenses. So these are for underwater lenses for the GoPro. And then um, this is a little floaty. So you can attach it to the GoPro. That way um, you're not gonna lose it in the ocean. This one is a must and it's been awesome. You don't need the brand name ones. <laughs> and then we have, we brought a few different ones of these guys, um, just little different attachments. We wanted to get some extra nice hardware because you, it is difficult to unscrew these and it can be frustrating when you're trying to get a shot. There's a lot going on. So this is a yeah. really cheap way. It's like, it may not seem important, but honestly, it's like such a relief to have. And then this is our final item. This, this is the arm that we chose to use. It's called the three way. Um, there are so many, honestly, I don't think this is the best one if you're not having to be compact, but this can fully go down all the way to that size. And I think that's pretty great. Yeah, it's pretty awesome too, because you can also turn it into um, just like a little tripod stand. So when you're holding the GoPro, what we notice is that it won't get this in your image, which is awesome. And then also it is waterproof as well, something we can bring in the water unlike our other tripods. All right, so that pretty much wraps it up. Hopefully this helped you guys if anyone is considering doing something similar to what we are. And we'll keep you guys posted on how everything works out. So if you guys haven't already and enjoyed this video, please like it. And subscribe, we would appreciate it. And turn on your little bell.